Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Leopold Leopold is a name of Germanic origin, from the Old High German masculine name Ludbald meaning bold people and or bold among the people, from the Germanic elements Ludi meaning people and bald meaning bold. Later, the spelling of the first element was altered to Leo from the Latin word for lion, in which case the name's meaning might be argued as bold lion, although this is considered more folk etymology. The name Leopold is most closely associated with German royalty dating back to the 10th century and starting with Leopold I, Margrave of Austria, from the House of Babenberg. This Leopold's great-great-grandson, Leopold III, Margrave of Austria in the 12th century, would later be canonized a saint for founding several monasteries, he is the patron saint of Austria and his feast day is November 15. The German House of Habsburg produced two old Roman emperors named Leopold and Queen Victoria of England named one of her sons Leopold, after his great-uncle, Leopold I, King of the Belgians. In other words, Leopold was a highfalutin name in German, Austrian, Bavarian and Belgian royal history. This is also a name with quite a bit of literary cachet, having been used by Irish author James Joyce for his protagonist in his epic novel Ulysses, 1920. Today the name is most common in France, rendered as Leopold. Personality of the boy named Leopold the number seven personality is deeply mystical and highly in tune with their spirituality. They operate on a different wavelength than the average Joe. Spending time alone comes easily to sevens, as it gives them time to contemplate philosophical, religious, and spiritual ideas in an effort to find real truth. Sevens are wise, but often exude mystery as if they are tapped into something the rest of us don't understand. They love the outdoors and are fed by nature. Sevens are constantly seeking to understand human nature, our place in the universe, and the mystery of life in general. This makes them quite artistic and poetic, but they are also keen observers with high intellect so they are equally scientific-minded. Sevens are charitable and care deeply about the human condition. Popularity of the boy named Leopold Leopold has never been a particularly popular baby boy's name among the American people. Perhaps it's just too European, like Wolfgang. The only time Leopold has ever claimed top 1000 positioning in the US was between 1880 and 1926, and barely so. In fact, fast forward to 2013, and only 64 baby boys were given the name Leopold in that year. This is a strong-sounding name and not one for the faint of heart. Leopold belongs on a bold young man, perhaps one of German or Austrian descent. Leo is an obvious nickname. Quick facts on Leopold. Gender, boy. Origin, German. Number of syllables, three. Ranking popularity, not applicable. Pronunciation, Leopold. Simple meaning, bold people. Characteristics of Leopold. Imaginative, philosophical, wise, eccentric, mystical, intuitive, solitary. Cultural references to the baby name, Leopold. Literary characters of the baby name Leopold. Leopold Bloom is the protagonist of James Joyce's masterpiece of modern literature, Ulysses, first published in serial form and in its initial book form by Sylvia Beach of Shakespeare and Company in Paris in 1922. The subject of multiple attacks of obscenity charges, Ulysses has come to be accepted for what it is, a classic. At its heart are the ruminations and observations of the wandering Jew, Leopold Bloom, as he walks about Dublin in the course of a single day, June 16, 1904. Leopold is every man, a person with troubles, heartbreaks, disappointments. He and his wife Molly lost their only son when an infant, and since that time Leopold has been unable to have marital relations with her. At the same time, he knows that she is finding questionable comfort in the arms of another man. He is such a fair man that he cannot hold her in contempt for her actions. Indeed, Leopold either sympathizes or empathizes with most of mankind, so non-judgmental is he, and so lacking in the single-minded national fervor that grips the nation of which he is at once a native and an outsider. Leopold is very comfortable in his skin, 
He is a creature of the earth and does not so much revel in that earthiness as dwell in it. He loves to eat, to drink, to talk, indeed, all the bodily functions are embraced wholeheartedly by him. He holds women in special regard and dreams of following through on his sexual fantasies, although that is as far as he will take it. In the face of all that life has to serve to him, Leopold remains in essence a good and gentle man, one for whom the very nature of existence can be distilled into one word, love, in all its manifestations.